Okay, ladies, I'm going to try to get us going. I'm running just a little bit behind. The very first thing I would like to do is introduce you the board of the league that is here. If you can come forward, I would appreciate it. Or if you just want to stand, whatever makes you most comfortable. We have our president, Rosemary Gary, and co-president, Loretta Court. We have our vice president and founder of the league, Karen Beardsley. We have the treasurer, Gracie Tobo. Then we have Emily Camp, our secretary. We have Jeanette Kendrick. Jeanette, if you can get there, you go. She's on our board. And Pat Reed, I think, is right beside her, is also on our board. And I'm on your board for the State League. So I welcome all of you here today. Loretta, uh, Rosemary and Loretta have something they would like to get us started with, and then we're going to move right into our nominations. presidents of the League of Women Voters. Loretta, did you have tea parties with your grandma? I did have tea with my grandma. I guess you could call it a party. I lived on a farm and my mom would tell me to stop by the post office and pick up a package for grandma on certain days. And I would take the package to grandma and she would fix tea. And my tea would be that much milk, and that much tea, and a little bit of ginger and sugar. And her tea came from her package. She was very ill, and in the 1940s, we didn't have too much medicine for some of the things that she had. So it came in the mail from her doctor, and she would make her tea or whatever she made with her medicine. And when I was about 45, I went to a party with my sister. And as we walked in, I said, what's that smell? And Sharon said, it's marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> That's grandma's tea. <laughs> <laughs> so we dressed in place. <laughs> I like Rosemary. Did you do that proper tea? <laughs> well, when I was young, I spent vacations a couple months with my grandparents in the Poconos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you promise you won't tell my sister this story, I'll tell you about the parties I had with my grandparents, okay? When my grandfather would come home from work, we would have our own little party, okay? My grandparents liked beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now they would have their regular glass of beer. They didn't give me that size glass of beer though. But I would get a little shot glass of beer. But that was our tea party. <laughs> According to the internet, there are no rules about the content of a traditional afternoon tea menu, dress, or behavior. More than anywhere else, London is synonymous with afternoon teas. Hats, white gloves, scones and honey, cucumber sandwiches, and small cakes. 
However, we're not in London, and what we are doing in Mesquite, wow, you ladies look, and gentlemen, look fantastic. We could be in London, maybe. But, at our tea, keep yourself a hand. At our tea, we are honoring our queens. And so ours is a queen's tea. And at this tea, you have had an opportunity to nominate people, women of distinction, women who you think have contributed to this community. And so our tea is about celebrating our winners. Every woman who is nominated is a winner, as well as all of you. If you were had to have some um, little uh, tea leaves at the bottom of your teacup today, and you had, a, and that would be your fortune, and I bet I could tell you fortune, because I can right now. This is a day that you will celebrate, feel good, and enjoy yourself, and not have a headache, a tummy ache, or a wardrobe malfunction. You will be stress-free and enjoy every contestant and appreciate what they have done. Now, about the League of Women Voters. Uh, the League of Women Voters was established in the 1920s from the women's suffrage movement. They secured the 19th Amendment, ensuring the women's right to vote. Now, to today, in the 2000s, 2000s we offered the first online candidate debates, passed legislation on campaign finance and election, administered reform, and continue to push for health care reform. Our focus is on economy, education, elections, environment, health, and voter services. So enjoy what we have to bring you today. Thank you.